Welcome, folks. Uh, this is Dave. I'm no one famous. I got Eddie with me here today. Uh, we're, we're, we're trying coming, to be famous. We're trying to be famous. I we're think coming we're trying off, to be famous. <laughs> coming off the bye week. I got the Yeti mic going. I have a 1080p uh, external camera going. Uh, we're in the backyard here in Staten Island, New York, where it probably feels like 70 plus degrees out. It's beautiful. Uh, for this October 26th, 25th, whatever. Late October. I think it's 25th. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's one of those days. Hmm. 22nd, 23rd, 20th. Yeah, 25th. 25th. Yeah, but it was so nice out. I'm like, we got to get out of the man cave. Yeah, we gotta definitely. Get this backyard thing. This has a lot of potential, the backyard thing. I mean, fire pit's a possibility. Yeah. The cigar's always good. Uh, we might be bundled up like Eskimos. Hot tub, maybe. <laughs> well, hot tub. Maybe we could do one from the hot tub. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Opposite end of the hot yeah. tub, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Paul, I'm not sure how this Yeti Mike's going to pick up with the hot tub going off, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so anyway, it's all about the Jets. It's all about the Jets and the Giant game coming up this week. Uh, you know, uh, I feel as a Jet fan, and maybe Eddie will also let me know, I feel like... I don't know what's going to happen still to well, this day. You know what? I wasn't <laughs> nervous mm-hmm. until the Giants played this last game, and their defense looks like a thousand times better than it's looked all year. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, ah, oh, really? Yeah, I know. <laughs> they I can't know. look like shit like they have for the whole year. Yeah. You know, the last two games, you know, they beat Buffalo. You know, they've been playing so well. I mean, the commanders are in Buffalo, but. Yeah, it's, it's – uh, this whole NFL season has been interesting. I'm sorry, they didn't beat Buffalo. They just played very well. Yeah, yeah, Buffalo very well. Yeah, and should have yeah, beat them. Yeah, really, we actually really. uh, we were pumpkin picking last weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was, I think it was a 14 7 final score or whatever. You the, know, the commander uh, game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. No, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right, the commander game. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I'm thinking about the Buffalo game, though. The Buffalo game with the Giants. It was two weeks lost ago. Two weeks ago, I'm sorry. Two weeks ago. But that was. Was that 14 Four, 7? I think it was 14 12? Yeah, I forget. Right? But it was a close game. A game that you would initially think that the Giants had no business even competing with, you right, know, Buffalo. Right, right. You know, we, we had that thing where Miami's the best team in football and they destroyed the Broncos, then Buffalo beats Miami, then they're the best team in football, right. then Buffalo barely beats the Giants, and they, I think they lost. I, they, I think they just played the... Uh, the Giants just played the command. No, Buffalo. Buffalo. Buffalo just lost to the Patriots. The Patriots. So, yeah, it's, I mean, like I said, as far as gambling and the fan duel stuff, I look at them like, I don't know. I, this is what the NFL wants. I don't wants. feel comfortable about it. The NFL <laughs> wants parity, right? They want everybody yeah. to be even yeah. going into the end of the year. It's crazy. Right? Eddie, what are we drinking here, by we the way? We are I, drinking uh, Pilar Dark Rum. This is from the Hemingway family. Ernest Hemingway? Oh, yes, Key West. Key West. Right. So mm-hmm. Pilar was the name of his yacht. Mm. So this Interesting. Is a nice dark rum. Yeah. I don't usually drink rum, but this one's yeah. really good. Uh, and it's funny because there's a whole rum distillery factory, whatever you call it, tour at Key West. Yes, well, because, that's this. Yeah, that's yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the family actually donates um, a portion of the profits to charity. Hmm. That they make off of this. I could know. A little plug there. A little plug. A little plug for Pilar, yeah. <laughs> I don't bad. know if they need it, but yeah, I like I it. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's hard to find around here. Yeah. Uh, Eddie, I didn't do my homework yet, but I, I know if I quickly go to uh, my ESPN app, I can find out how the... Uh, you know, the, the whole thing about the, the Jet game, I, I made a little video about Zach Wilson, the truth about Zach Wilson showing, like, stats and numbers right, to right, back right. up, you know, that he's a below-average quarterback, unfortunately. Well, he's the worst-rated quarterback, right? Right. The last well, I, didn't wanna, I didn't want to go there. I'm trying to be He nice. is. No, he <laughs> Listen, the numbers are the numbers, Yeah, right? yeah. That's what Bill Parcells yeah. always said, right? Your record is what your record, you know, says you are, you know? True. And, uh, you know, I got, I got quite a few, couple comments back and forth on, uh, you know, on my YouTube channel, which is pretty cool to interact with the, with the folks and whatnot. One guy said to me, uh, you didn't talk about the defenses he played against. And I'm not going to go back and forth and, you nah, know, whatever the comments. But, you know, and, and that was a fair statement to, to, to make. But, I mean, my retort well, to that was, what happened when they played Denver? Did they score 50 points against Denver? Right. 40 or 30? Did they well, bar Denver? No. Th- that, that argument doesn't hold water because you would say, well, when he played lesser defense, his numbers should be better. Right. When he played hard defense, his numbers wouldn't be as right. good. But his numbers really aren't ever good. Yeah. <laughs> so, so as we stand here today, waiting for the game on Sunday, we still are questioning, like, yeah. you know. And listen, I, I can't imagine this to be true. But well, we're only questioning the offense. We're not questioning well, the I defense, think, right? You know, you know what? I'm glad you said that because we're not even questioning the offense. We're questioning Zach Wilson only. Right, right. That's the thing. Right. And can you imagine going the rest of the season and ending this, which I can't imagine, and still wondering if Zach Wilson's going to be good? But that's why we went in. <laughs> like, <laughs> but that's what the Jets figured out last year. It was like, yeah. listen, we have this top five defense, and we have a lot of offensive pieces, 
and the only thing we're missing is a quarterback, and they went out and got Aaron Rodgers. Right, right. So it's not like magical that all of a sudden they're not missing the quarterback piece anymore. Right. right. Zach Wilson's playing better yeah, this year. Yeah. And, but he's if I mean if you had your choice between Aaron Rodgers and Zach Wilson, you're going to take Aaron Rodgers. Right, well, and, that, and that's course. what and that's what yeah, the whole yeah. that's what the you know the, the, problem the whole is, organization decided. The, the problem is the you know a little bit off the, the track there. Even taking the lower tier quarterbacks like now is Tyrod Taylor and Daniel Jones better than Zach Wilson? I think so. But, right, the fact that I was going to say the fact if I had that, a choice between right. between Zach Wilson and Daniel Jones, I'll take Daniel Jones. I'm not sure if Tyrod Taylor would be better than Daniel Jones. Well, though. No, so I don't listen, know, you know, it's listen, hard to say. You listen, know. he had a, he's had a good yeah. little two game run. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was a starting quarterback for a little while for mm -hmm. for the Ravens and took him to the playoffs. And but, Buffalo. Uh, Buffalo. But there's always yeah. a reason why these guys are backups. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's why I said about Mike White when anybody was right. telling me for Mike right. White. You know, right. whatever. Uh, but that's the question. The question is, and that was my whole post last week on YouTube was basically like, you know, will I ever see Zach Wilson? Pass for 300 plus yards, three touchdowns. No one, I don't care if right. it's against the worst team. I don't right. care if it was in preseason. Right. You I just want to see it <laughs> somewhere. Right. You want to see it. I mean, apparently in practice, he's 19 out of 20, but not even right. in preseason has he really shown me, like, you oh would think, man. You would think he should have done that against Denver. Yeah. Right? Right. Exactly. That, that's the, you know. Right. So, I mean, you know, will this be the game? I'm not sure. I mean, you know, because now the Giant defense is playing well. Right. Right. Uh, you kind of have to... Just hand the ball off to Brees Hall. He's on my fantasy team. Let him go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely going to work. That's you definitely going to work. Absolutely. Uh, I just wanted to say that the scheduling, which I have on my page somewhere, I, the Giants and the Jets are really like uh, running on the same track, basically, yes, because they're, they're, they're like, oh, hard part of if schedule, we win this right? game now, right. we should be okay, you know, whatever. Right. Uh, but well, do you watch Good Morning Football? Yeah, I try to watch. I, I so this morning, the show, they, go were, back they were talking about the Jet Giants, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, let's look at it from the Jets' point of view. The mm -hmm. Jets are playing the Giants, who they, you know, oh, yeah, they, I, I they could see, potentially yeah. uh -huh. beat. They should be, right? Maybe. And then the charge, can the can the Jets beat the Chargers? Yeah. Can the Jets beat the Raiders? Yeah. So at the end of this three-game run, they could be six and three. Right, right, right. Right? Yeah. And, but then you go to the Giants, and they have the same run. Yeah. They have the Jets. They yeah. have the Raiders. I forget who the third team was. So yeah. they could do the same thing. Yeah. So, yeah. so after they play the Giants, the, the Jets have the Chargers, the Raiders... So let me show you got this right. Giants, Chargers, Raiders. Yeah, the Jets Which are playing. I have to share a little something. Yeah. My wife and my children got me a birthday present. Mm -hmm. And me and Beth are going to Vegas. Oh. And we're going to see the Jets and Raiders. That's interesting. Somebody <laughs> was, somebody, so I guess I forget what show it was. We watch ESPN. We watch, you know, uh, you know NFL Network. Right, right. Uh, but they were talking about there's supposed to be some kind of a race there's a, going there's on. There is a race, yes. And they said there might be a lot of New York fans there. Well, know. because there's a race, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then there's the Giant game, and then the next week the Jets come in. Mm -hmm. So, like, for like three weeks, you can spend the, you know, spend three weeks in Vegas and see a Formula One race, the Giant game, and the Jet game if you're a New York fan. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I, you know, we're, we're still waiting, unfortunately, uh, you know, to see. To see uh, my, my opinion, listen. And I, 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 we could we could play this game all season long. I right. mean, I would love to be wrong and we win a Super Bowl because our defense is great and we had to score points on defense every single game and had five terms. You know, well, I want to see the Jets have a couple. It worked of, twenty years ago for the Ravens. I yeah, don't know if it works now. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm really. I'm. I'm so greedy that <laughs> I want multiple. Like I want like a. a a run. I don't want yeah, like that, want run, like, like right, that right. Tampa Bay Raven. Like we won right. one game and our quarterback was so so. We'll never see the Super Bowl again. Who right, knows how right, long? Right. I like to see that you know that Patriot. Well, they did win another one. Yeah, with Joe Flacco. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, remember when the lights yeah. went out? And like I said, you know, and that that's what always had me questioning, like the the uh, coordinators and the head coaching, because Zach Wilson sucked that year, Flacco sucked that year. Mike White had one good game. Uh, right. Probably what anybody says it. he sucked that year. Yeah. So like maybe it's the coaching. Something like are they, all these guys suck. And I used to joke around with Chris when he comes to watch the game. Uh, one of my uh, guys did a uh, little biography on podcast. Uh, well, Joe Flacco's not anywhere now. So no. But I mean, I was done. joking around saying, "Oh, this is a veteran quarterback, Super Bowl MVP. Watch what happens now." Nothing happened. <laughs> You know, a little you know, bit here and there. But yeah, nothing. yeah, yeah. Like, right. I, you know, so I, yeah, who knows what it could be? There's so much that goes into football. Uh, that was also under our old offensive coordinator, who was mm -hmm. a rookie at it, LaFleur, right? Okay. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, maybe if last year, if we had um, who we have this year, mm -hmm. you know, maybe it would be, maybe it would have been different for Joe Flacco. Who knows? Well, that's why we like football, though, because it really is always interesting. It's parody, it's man. It's always <laughs> it's parody this year. Look it's at San Fran losing two in a row, right? Everybody's like everybody's anointing them the best yeah, team in yeah, football, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they lose two in a row. Everybody's anointing Philadelphia the best mm -hmm. team in football. They lose to the Jets. So, yeah. any like they say, any given Sunday, anything can happen. Anything can happen. So, like I mean, we're, we're gonna watch the game. Uh, you know, I like to try a YouTube live too. I did it one time yeah, for the game yeah, and yeah. stuff like that, and see if I get some clips from there. <laughs> yeah, obviously, uh, as you can tell by my production here, we're all kind of fairly new with this. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun doing the Jet Podcast, uh, even if I only have five or ten views. And I, I look at other podcasts that people have started out, and they have the same thing. And there's quite a quite a lot of few Jet Podcasts out there. I'm sure there is with every football team. Right, uh, right. Very creative, very good. Uh, educational. I watch some of them to get some tips and whatnot. But uh, this is certainly just for fun. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. What better way to spend the Wednesday night having a few drinks, oh, smoking this, a cigar? Like I says, knowing that this weather's not going to last for too much Yeah, long. right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we will be going to the uh, Dolphin game on Black Friday. Oh, yeah, that's right. And uh, it's funny because uh, after going to the Buffalo game, the home open, I'm like, I don't know if we're going to go to the yeah, Dolphin game. Like, we're out of it already. Like, it's like, I'm you know, nervous. Whatever, about, I'm nervous you know? about the Dolphin game, man. You I know? mean, but you know what? Teams have been slowing them down. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. it, they, you know, they haven't lost their main starters. They lost uh, HN, who mm -hmm. is also on my fantasy team. Uh -huh. You know, but you still have Raheem, Raheem Mostert, who's running like crazy, right, except right. for last week. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, you got Tyreek Hill, who, for whatever reason, teams refuse to double team. I don't mm -hmm. know how that man is always behind everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, man. I mean, he is the stupid Dolphins fast. lost that game, uh, but I was amazed watching both of the teams, but I guess in the Dolphins in particular, the, the catches, the passes. Now, that one Tyreek Hill touchdown, man. Oh, that the was a split the guys? I mean, not only was he open, though, but Tua had well, a he really threw, ahead of him. Right. He threw the ball before he was open, really. Yeah. And, I mean, he ran He just ran by out. everybody. I mean, yeah. uh, man, that was a thing of beauty. That I mean, was. That was. It's like we watch football all the time, and, but once in a while you're like, that's a professional, you know, pass right. and catch. Right. You right. know, whatever. Right. That was just like, that's hard well, to do. Well, did you see the replay? They showed of mm -hmm. Tua throwing that exact same pass. Yes. In college, Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. mean, obviously mm -hmm. in college it was, mm -hmm. um, I think it was Jamar Chase mm -hmm. that he threw mm -hmm. it to. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, you're right. I'm trying to think. Of was it Jamar Chase or was it? No, because um, Cincinnati, Bobo, and I think Chase were the same college team. LSU, LSU? I think. Yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. then it was, um, I it was, it was. Um, what's his name on Philly? Devontae Devante Davis. Uh, De Adams? No. No, not Adams. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm <laughs> Who's not the number two receiver? <laughs> Who's the number two receiver in Philly? Have another trick. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck's his name? Good stuff. I don't know. Yeah, Devonta no, Smith. No, no, yeah, Devonta yeah. Smith. Okay. Devonta Smith. Yeah. But he threw that same pass to Devonta Smith. Mm -hmm. the ex like the exact same spot. But college, you're going to be a little more open than you are in, in the pros. Of course. But it was the exact same throw. Mm -hmm. Exact same spot in the end zone. Like everything the same. Yeah. So I was like. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens in college. I mean, uh, the, the average Joe, I guess, doesn't really know that, uh, you know, Half your college schedule is against teams that are so bad you're gonna win like fifty to three, fifty to whatever, and then they carry those stats into the draft. Right. You know, people are like, hey, you well, threw like fifty touchdowns and two interceptions. You know, but yeah. well, that goes back to the, <laughs> even like drafting Zach Wilson. He had one, yeah. you know, in a small college like a BYU, not top. It was, up, it's BYU. Yeah, 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 I mean, they're a big not, college, yeah, yeah, but not, it's, it was one mm -hmm. good season. Right. Right. And all of a sudden, this guy's you know the second coming. I mean, yeah. Listen, maybe it's going to take a little longer to develop. It's his third yeah. year. He has – at least we still mm -hmm. see progress this year, yeah. right? His rookie year, we really didn't see progress towards the end of the season. Last year, we didn't see progress. Yeah. At least this year, we're seeing progress. I mean, my, my, my thing is, you know, like progress is uh, – is, uh, Well, everybody it's, wants it, him to be Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. And, and that, that, That's a generational player. Yeah. You know, Andrew Luck is a generational player. The guys that come in mm -hmm. and after their first year, they're superstars. Yeah. It doesn't always happen. My thing is this, Ed. Like like I said, I don't have anything to back this up with, and I should. I'm not sure, but I think Justin Fields probably had a better 
rating passing day than Zach Wilson ever did. Yes. Now, if we take a look at these other rookie quarterbacks, um, I'm trying to think of this, C.J. Stroud. And who's C.J. The Stroud guy? is lighting it up right now. And who's the other guy that's... Uh, that was the number one pick? Some, I know, one of them is hurt with the shoulder. It might be Stroud. Who's on Houston? Yeah, C.J. Stroud missed the last game. Yeah. Houston is um, C.J. Stroud. Oh, so who's in uh, the, for the Colts? No, not the Colts. The, uh, uh, whatchamacallit? Panthers. He was the number one no, pick. Who's, who's quarterback for the Colts? Right now, Gardner Minshew. But who was quarterback? Anthony Richardson. Got Richardson, hurt. Richardson. He got hurt. He's a rookie. He's a rookie. But I think even but he, he had a... He, nah. He I was running... His, his, his passing stats weren't great. Mm. His passing stats weren't great. I'm telling you. That's my biggest problem with these running quarterbacks. Like, if you have one on your team, good luck. That he's going to last a year or two years or whatever. Right. Bryce Young. Bryce Young is with... Uh, Bryce Young. So Bryce Young was the number one pick. Mm-hmm. C.J. Stroud was two. Mm-hmm. And C.J. Stroud is having a ridiculous year. Mm-hmm. He's throwing for 300 yards a game. He's throwing two touchdowns, no oh, picks. Why can't Zach Wilson do that? You know? I That's know. the thing. When you pick him number two, you expect him to be like those stats. Yes, uh, yes. Joe Bubble stats with his first year. Right. You know, whatever. But like I said, everybody's on their own timetable. Yeah, and, but and this, like is, I, and listen, this is three years in. I know, but like, this, I, this is... like I said about Zach mm. from the beginning, I believe he had a sheltered... A sheltered... Right, because he, like, he knew he was the man right away. You know, sheltered athletic life, mm-hmm. okay? Besides his whatever his personal life was, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, through high school and through college, you know, everyone was kissing his ass, yeah. and he never had adversary. Yeah. adversity. Yeah. You know? Maybe these guys had different paths. You know, uh, like, like everyone says, there's no... Disputing his arm talent. Yeah. He's got a great arm. Yeah. And he's athletic. Yeah. He throws a nice it's pass, just, though. Yeah. It's just up here. It's just processing everything. <clears throat> and maybe it's taken him a little longer. I, I, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I was trashing him, and I wanted nothing more to do with him. Yeah. Well, you, you know? and everybody else. <laughs> right. And and he's kind of proving everybody yeah. wrong right yeah. now. Yeah. It's funny because I'm a, I'm a very big Zach Wilson fan, more so probably than Eddie, because Eddie knows I was like, you know, a little giggly about this whole, I, what I thought was going to be a great quarterback. Right. right. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, just like Mike White, I'm the same way. I'm, I'm very level. You know what I mean? Like with a, you know, that, that one, he made an improvement game. I'm so past that. <laughs> I'm like, I, I want to see us have a Joe Bubba or a Justin right, Herbert. I right, want to see, like, right. let's, you know, and then and they, these teams of defense aren't, aren't as good as the Jets. You know, it's always something, you mm-hmm. know, whatever. But, well, I think I said it last week. I feel like every week something gets accomplished and something comes out, okay, we have to work on this now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I think right now it really is. I mean, and and being a Jet fan, it wasn't too long ago I said we need everything, yeah, right? You know, right, whatever. Right, right. You know, now if you're looking at the season, all we need is to somehow, <laughs> you know, it, yeah. Well, it's I was going to say it's for Zach Wilson to get into the red, red he score touchdowns instead right, of these right, field goals. Right. Well, that's what I mean by every yeah. every week. There's something new you have He's to work gotta, on. They got to whether and, it's, even it's the penalties and full. We had all those injuries on the offensive yeah. line. Okay, now this seems like they figured that out, right? Right. right. Now we're getting into the red zone. Okay, yeah. now we're getting into the red zone, but we're not scoring touchdowns. Right, you know. Right. So I feel like that's what I mean by every week. I feel like there's something else that has to be addressed yeah. and worked on. But this has been a problem for a long time now. So. You know, I don't know what else to come. I mean, it's it seems like it's I, I see it. It's like getting better, like ever so slightly, right, right. like nothing, like you know, whatever. Well, it's you not know, as fat, obviously not as fast. Yeah. the defense has come around. Yeah, right? yeah. They, they the gave defense him some, was like a switch. Yeah. They gave him some quicker passes, like you know. Yes. And I see this successful the quick other teams. Right. Hike two steps back, the right. ball's out of their hand. Right. You know, whatever. And we are seeing guys more open. Maybe because he's throwing it. You know, he's, he's, right, he's, right, right. Like I said, a lot of there's a lot of factors involved, and I try to take that all into consideration. You know, but you know when you when you when you look at the whole picture at the end of the day, you know it's like there has to be a game where he did well because everybody played well. So I don't want to say every single game there's an excuse or whatever. Right, like he's right. got to have one or two games. Listen, that's why we can't really say much about Josh Allen and plays like that because they they've proven it. So they they'll have to have a bad yeah, day. You know, Josh you know I mean? Allen's like, not having a great year. Right, right, but but still, like you know, you see what he has his potential. He's done some phenomenal yeah. things. So. I want to get to that point. Then it's okay if Zach Wilson's a bad. And I heard, I heard, I heard something that um, Salah really wanted Derek Carr. Mm-hmm. I heard that too. Yeah. And honestly, yeah. 
Derek Carr has not shown me much this year. He's not. He's not. And he's it's, acting a little bit like a bitch. Yeah. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> right? I saw him yelling at right? the air. Yeah, the imagine, receivers. Yeah. You imagine if he did that shit in New York? Yeah. Like, that's a like who tough. the hell are you? That's a little right? tough. Now, yeah. That's a fight. I didn't know he had that. You know, me I neither. Mean, everybody's a competitor. They get fired yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, but he's acting but, uh, a little bitchy. Yeah, yeah. It's not like you're lighting yeah. it up, yeah. you know? And you know you're on camera. You know you're on camera when you're doing that stuff, you know, so. I yeah. get that he's competitive. Yeah. But don't be bitching at your own guys, man. Yeah, that's not gonna go over too well. I mean, Zach, Zach did it once, right? He didn't even bitch. Yeah, he yeah. just didn't take account. He just didn't take, you know, yeah. he didn't take accountability for it. And everyone was like, "Yeah, fuck you." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In fact, that interview that he had when he uh, didn't take accountability and he was like, right. you know, that was the first time I really. Do you feel like you let the defense down? No. Yeah, that was. The, yeah, I mean, I got that was <laughs> the first time I got again. turned <laughs> off from. Yeah, I got turned off from that time. Mm -hmm. uh, like I says, I you know when we drafted Zach Wilson. I, for the first time, very rarely went out on a limb and said, this is the best throwing quarterback I've seen. I know the beautiful passes. I don't want to say nothing, Dave, but yeah. you said the same thing about Sam Donald. You were Sam all excited Donald. about you Sam know what? Donald. I tell you something. You're right. You're right. And I was probably like... And then he had that first game against the Lions, and you were like, yeah. remember, we were in AC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You he were like, good. see, yeah. see, he's mm -hmm. going to be good. Mm -hmm. That was about it. Mm. <laughs> That's crazy. It is, it is crazy to be a Jet fan. It's, it's more crazy to watch other teams have, like, a Hall of Fame quarterback, and then the backup takes over. He's a Hall of Fame quarterback, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, but our day will come, hopefully sooner than later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and like I said, I hope Zach Wilson is really shows us something because I don't know about you, but I have zero confidence that when Avin Rodgers comes back, that he's going to be able to survive a full season without getting hurt. Really? I, I just I don't know if this is I don't know if this is just jet luck that this guy played how many years. Oh, it's definitely hurt? jet luck. I'm like, it's definitely jet luck, man. I said <laughs> it's that. The first game. I said like, that. Come on, you know what I mean? who has who has two veteran you quarterbacks know? blow out Achilles tendons yeah. when you're Super yeah. Bowl, you know? Yeah. Not favorites, but you yeah. know, contenders. You and know? they played so many years before that, but that never happening. Nah, it's well, he had thumb injuries. He he was you know. Yeah, but dinged. this is major, like yeah, I'm no, saying, like major, I'm saying, right. you know, Tessa yeah. Verde and right. Ryan Rodgers, you know, right. been up for a yeah, long done. time. Done. Didn't out that many games, you know. <laughs> done. You know, so yeah. I mean, uh, if you hear that noise in the background, it's not Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my two dogs. They're they're play fighting. They're play fighting. If you see any blood squirting over the screen. You know, <laughs> Try to do a podcast here, guys. <laughs> uh, whatever. Dogs will be dogs, as they say. <laughs> you <didn't> say that? <laughs> I've heard some women say that before. <laughs> but, uh, mm. Well, we're going to wrap All it right. up. Yeah, man. And uh, like I said, we'll see what the results are. It'll be really interesting to talk about this next week to see what happens. And to be honest with you, I can really sit here tonight and say, I have no idea if I'm going to say, oh, the Jets finally showed some life and beat the Giants 30 to 14, or if they just lose the game to the Giants, who are sad, nowhere near sad, like. Be a sad, sad yeah, podcast. Nowhere near any team that we played so far. Right. Not knocking the Giants. They're not no Kansas City. They're not no Buffalo. Right. You know. Uh, We're not in a position to. Philadelphia. Knock any, We're not in a position. Hey, Cody. Say hi, Cody. <laughs> oh, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> say hi, Cody. <laughs> Uh, that's one of the dogs back there. Right. We're not in a position to say we're better than anybody right. or should beat anybody. But yeah. Let's get there. Yeah, <laughs> let's get there. So we'll see what happens. It's going right. to be interesting, guys. We'll catch in the, uh, We'll catch up to you guys next week. And uh, let's Give go Give us a Jets. shout out. Give us a shout out. Make some comments. Subscribe. Uh, if you want some no one famous shirts, I got a pretty cool uh, little store going there. Check that I out saw also. That. That's really cool. Check that out. <laughs> Maybe in a, by next week, actually, I ordered a shirt and a mug. Maybe I'll have the mug out here and I'll fill it up with the alcohol. There you go. All right, guys. All right. Be well. Take care, guys.